Hey guys, I'm Jan, it's on occasion, and today we are carrying on our Northern Provinces campaign with Miao Yin and um, Beast Catchers. That is Grizz Guts is here. Guys, it's Grizz Guts. You remember Grizz Guts. You know, from the um, Shoreditch Grizz Guts family. Uh, anyway, we're going to kill him. This map again? I want to. I want my favourite map. <laughs> oh, I'm setting. It just means we're gonna have to do more battles here. Well, that's that's all it means. What it means, guys. You have to do more battles. Uh, God, this map really encourages you to be on the offensive, doesn't it? it really does. Um, also, I wonder if this guy here, this war hydra, is going to breathe fire at our sky junk. I I kind of hope it does. I kind of hope it, it does. I think that would be really cool. On any front from which and, uh... Threatened. When did... Did it actually swap... Wait. Yeah, it actually swapped Master. their weapons. Master. That's really interesting. I didn't realise it swapped weapons. Interesting. Usually when you... Like, before when you used to equip a weapon that was already equipped, it would just, you know, to like to somebody else, it would just equip their weapon and just take it from the other person. But now, apparently, it actually uh, actually swaps it, which is which is really good. So that's a really good shortcut, because you know if you intended on swapping the weapons, then great. And if you didn't, then it's the exact same amount of clicks as if you, you know, just go to the other character and then equip the weapon that you do want. Right? It doesn't it doesn't increase the amount of clicks at all. So yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that Hydra, we need to bog it down like right now. And actually the other Hydra as well. Need to make sure it can't breath attack us. Okay, good. That's pause in place, they can't go anywhere. I mean, these guys can go somewhere though. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Anything for Cathay. But not that. Also, did you guys hear about Meatloaf? That's mad. That's mad. I mean, he wasn't like a young man, but like, still. That's, that's crazy. Meatloaf. It's like, yeah, it just, I don't know. It just, it just seems weird. Life without Meatloaf. Crazy. So, you are doing great over there. Definitely appreciate all the work you do. Okay, you guys can handle him. And, uh, I mean, this isn't great being in combat with them, but I think we're doing okay. <laughs> I love Gardasaurs, they're great. <laughs> Alright, shoot him. It's not going to do any good, obviously. Uh, Magma Storm. Yeah, yeah, Magma Storm. This is uh, completely pointless. We'll do it here. And we'll hope for the best that it, it goes off while these get No, they're gone. They're gone. But hey, check it out. Magma Storm. Which, I mean, is a volcano, really. Rather than a storm. Oh, no, there's the storm. Okay, no, Magma Storm it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's really impressive when it hits something. <laughs> so that went well. Decisive victory. Sorted. Sorted. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's venerate, I think. I would like the money, but we do need the replenishment. Uh, I want to stay healthy in these uh, rather hostile lands. So, venerate. At battle's end, the ancestors are thanked. We must break Thanks, ancestors. The beast catchers. Well, we caught them. We caught their beasts. That's what did it. It's like the barest essence of a djinn captured within black obsidian is enough to weaken enemy spells. Spell resistance, 10%. It will have to do. Alright, let's level you up again. So fighting in the realms of chaos, I've got to say, just leveling up your legendary lord in this game, you really... It, it's just power leveling from the beginning. It really is crazy. Uh, looming lanterns. Missile resist is kind of huge. What is your rank? Oh, we're on rank 8 in that case. Yeah, that's fantastic. I give you that 15% missile resistance. And the extra leadership, which honestly, I I don't care. Uh, standing ground is nice. We'll get that too. 
The electric melee, uh, melee defense buff for nearby units is great, but even if Miao Yin is on her own, it's on like some commando mission to like gobble up a bunch of wizards or something, then yeah, she can just benefit from that. You know, it doesn't have to be a support ability. It can support herself. Also, is that a... Oh, it's just a fury. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. There's like a bloodthirst or something. I saw the wings. Got excited. A cool place. I mean, it's horrible, obviously. I wouldn't want to live here. But, you know, visit. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure just like ACDC are playing constantly. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's move on. God, I can't wait for this caravan to get to its destination. We're going to make so much money. So, let's get you over here to old, um, by our uh, uh, Jadewind Mountain, you know? We can fight some Skaven and such. It's going to be lovely. And honestly, with this army, we'll do great. Um, the Sky Lanterns, we'll be able to, like, poke at anything scary. And we'll just have a huge amount of Jade Warriors and Jade Warrior crossbowmen coming in with their decent armor. Uh, I just don't see Skaven Slaves being able to make a dent in this. And Clan Rats, even Clan Rats, weapon strength is pretty poor. Yeah, six armor piercing damage is not much. It'd be very difficult for them to get through our Jade Warriors. Uh, so now what? So we are on Yin 1. Which is crazy to me that we're on Yin 1. I don't know how we got there after doing an event that got us Yang 6. It's really quite peculiar. Um, but you are not actually keen to join the Confederation anymore. I'm pretty sure at one point he wanted to join the Confederation. So clearly, the support I've been giving him, he's got a bit more confident and now he's not after me, which is very annoying. Uh, well, he's not after my affections, you know. He's not, he's not saying, hey, come and be my boss, please. Gun Lord reporting. That's how confederation works, right? <laughs> Come and be my boss, please. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think I've nailed it. So, let's figure out what we're doing. So that is yin as well, and I was going to get more yin stuff, because I like yin stuff. I think I might do that. So we're getting, we're getting yang stuff. Um, and Minds of Nang Yang. We've got upgrades we can do, but... Yeah, we don't have the building slots, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we'll do. Um, I think I might just rely on technology. Although I could recruit another lord, couldn't I? Who's a Yang lord? I could do that. Could I deal with supply lines? I mean, supply lines is pretty meager at the moment. I say at the moment, just generally in Warhammer Three. I don't know why they have supply lines at all, honestly. Just bizarre. So yeah, let's go with this one. Corruption down. We'll get uh, uh, Shui Lo. So now, Yang too. But it's okay, because we can just get more Ying stuff. More Yin stuff, not Ying. I always say Ying and Yang. It's left over from when I was a kid. I usually say Ying and Yang. Um, now it means we could... You know, I'm going to stay on contained aggression. I'll probably get uh, harmonic balance Yin as well at some point. But for now, I think I'm going to rely on buildings. We also just did a mission, which is nice. Yeah, I think I rely on the random buildings. The random yin buildings. And, ugh, oh, there's that one we need to do. What a bother. What a bother. Yeah, we don't have any more building slots, do we? No, so we're going to be down one building. So yeah, we, we're on Yang 2. We're about to get one yin building, I think. Or is it two, actually? I think I need to wait for stuff to build. Because I'm, I've clearly... I've clearly been building slightly out of kilter with my expectations. Does that make any sense to you? I, I was suddenly... I was suddenly, like, in, in a spot that I didn't think I'd be in. Um, I thought I was doing very well calculating... You know, balancing harmony. But it's quite difficult, because this doesn't show you buildings in progress. So sometimes you think, oh, it's going to be in a certain place. And then suddenly it changes, because projects finish and you didn't count up your projects well enough. So it would be nice to see in progress. Just do it in, in brackets. Just brackets alongside events, technology, buildings and characters. Just show what it's going to be. I think that would be really nice. That would sp that would kind of yeah. speed up figuring this out. Because it is a bit of a, you know, a bit of a mess. It's a bit of a mess. So. Building upgrade. Uh, let's get that done. And let's upgrade this finally. Dragon's wisdom or strength. 
Uh, non-aggression pact with the Sons of the Mountain. Let's do it. Uh, well, we could easily deal with this. This is fine. Your scouts have discovered a bandit force preparing an ambush. There is an alternative route, but it may add days to the journey. Or perhaps without the element of surprise, the enemy can be beaten. Let's just attack him. It's fine. Uh, Malk... Malkrad. Malkrad. Malk is... is pretty rad, let's be honest. You'll love that delicious milk. Great source of calcium. And bone meal. Right, here you go. Also, just in case there is a brand called Malk, and I've accused it of containing bone meal, I don't know that Malk is a brand. I actually have no idea. It just sounds like some sort of budget milk. <laughs> if it ex actually exists, I'd rather not get sued. I'm sure it's delicious and has no bone meal in it, okay? I'm sure it's delicious. Anyway, uh, right, let's get... Let's venerate. Let's just venerate. That's fine. Supervisor, idle hands are the ruin of success. I mean, cool. Works for me. Uh, do you want to give give her um, Gilelian Sol Netta? I think her being more powerful would be better. Or the Von Karstein Blade would be good too. Any of these are good. I mean, they all spread horrible amounts of corruption. But I'm not in my own territory right now, so I don't really mind. <laughs> Alright, Von Karstein Blade, go ahead. I mean, she's a dragon. Like, you know, she doesn't have to worry about these silly, silly effects. She can handle such a weapon, no problem. So, Celestial Loyalists are marching. I mean, they said that before. Did that mean that... Uh, Pdefu? 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 Did Pdefu defeat your army before? Because I feel like you had already gone there. <gasps> Legion of Chaos have entered the Blood God's domain. Legion of Chaos has managed to skirt the Maelstrom using their own machinations and enter Korn's realm, seeking a demon prince's soul, thus getting them closer to the Dying God. Why would it point me to there and not to the realm? Also, the Poxmakers of Nurgle just uh, got a, uh, a soul from Nurgle's realm, which feels like they had the home advantage there, but, you know... And the Ice Court got one too. And Celestial Storm got destroyed. And we're we're now uh, in harmony, but like less so than before, it's fine. We're getting there. Um, that is nice. I like the extra income. So I think I'm gonna stay there, actually. It feels a bit of a shame when you're at the top. Like when you're you're maxed out, because it just means stuff is going to empty. So you're gonna miss out on some of the Alright, you know what? We're gonna go over here. We're gonna swap between these two, I think. That's the thing, if you stay here it can't go any higher, but other stuff can diminish, you know? So swapping is the is the most sort of efficient way to get the most bonuses. So you stay where you are. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with this with this last. Beyond reason! Beyond sanity! Yes. Uh well I'll tell you what, actually. She'll just be our third lord for um for the dragon gate. Lord of yeah, she can go over there. And we'll get a discount on a unit, so we can start getting her a bit of an army as well. So that'll be nice. Uh, we also need a bunch of money. We need a bunch of money, I've decided, because I really, really want to build this building. I want to get the Temple of the Jade-Blooded Sorcerers, like, a week ago. So what we're going to do, Yuran Shu, uh, yeah, Yuran Shanfu, rather, is going to go to uh, Jade Mountain, and we're going to fight the Skaven. Valiant defeat. Really? Really, valiant defeat. Um, I mean, the problem is this is uh, Yin that we have. We do have that bound spirit leech. Oh, we do have blossom wind. Blossom wind is good. I like blossom wind. That's a good one. I think we don't have that like dragon breath attack, which is really good, but we don't need it because we have blossom wind. The fact it says Valiant Defeat, I really don't think we'd lose this. This doesn't look like something we'd lose. So I think it could just be the game is having us on. So we're going to fight this. Alright. So. The Celestial Faithful! Yes. Very faithful. We're proud of you. Uh, so I like this map. This map's cool. And I've got to say, the lighting actually looks better now. 
which has me a bit surprised. So I, I did mention the last time we were in a Skaven map, how stuff looked a bit crap. Do you remember me saying that? Like there, there wasn't a bunch of like green glowing and nothing was very well lit. Everything was really gray. That was the case on this map as well as the other Skaven map. So it seems the latest patch has addressed my complaints. So, I mean, maybe maybe it was part of their workflow that they were going to get around to relighting this stuff. But you know what? I'm going to take credit for it because I reported it. <laughs> I reported I said, lighting's not good, guys, on these maps, you know. It could do with being more in line with the Warhammer 2 stuff. And now it is. I've got to say, it looks fantastic. So uh, you're welcome, world. You're welcome. <laughs> and yes, I, I need this. I need this win. All right. It's all me. It was all me, I've decided. Okay, you lot and line up over here. We'll get three over here. And uh, we'll do three archers as well. And should we give each one a lantern? I'll probably put both of the lanterns kind of in the middle so they can just shoot across at whatever. But um, until then. Uh, right, let's just group them together. Same with you lot. Move you out. We're already going to be taking pot shots with these guys, which is great. Big fan of that. Towers are going to be firing. Obviously no fun. But we can hit these guys already with some Blossom Wind. Looks like they're trying to get out of the way of it though, which is very rude. Hello Skaven. Whoosh. I feel like that didn't go... Oh, hello. I did wonder if it would bounce. <laughs> that was really cool. I love that. That looks really great. Okay, you lot. Let's get you over here now. So yeah, we're getting some great damage in already. Just our archers will make short work of all of these guys, I think. I don't see the enemy being able to do much against all of our archer fire. Or our armor. Like, I just don't think we've got anything to worry about. Alright, you stand here, right? The fact we have balloons trying to hide behind a wall is pretty funny. Though I do appreciate there's just, like, big obstacles that flying units can actually take cover behind, because that's something that could have easily been overlooked. There's just this big pillar, you know, this big, uh, this big tower here. Chunk of tower. It's pretty cool. That's a nice touch. I just realized this is all built up walls here. Right into the lava. This right here is, I'm, I'm sure that this is a map on Dark Souls 2. What's it called? I'm sure it's got keep in the name. Fight a dude in lava. It's a right, it's a right per lava. All right, here you get, lads. Doing great. Doing great. Proud of you. Proud of you all. All right, who's next? I'm not sure. Uh, do you want to run in there and attack those Skaven Slave Slingers? That should be a laugh, right? You guys love attacking Skaven Slave Slingers, right? I'm sure they do. Okay, let's move you in. Move you in. Let's move you in. Good. How you doing? Five kills. Brilliant. These guys don't get many kills. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Alright, clan rat spears. Praise the dragon. Let's get in their way. The dragon's ass. This way. He just shout the dragon's ass. I think he did. I, th I think that's exactly what he said. So none of these are very offensive abilities, sadly. Alright, good. Now you guys can come in too. Thoughts in harmony. Okay, now what do I want to hit? I kind of want to hit them. I don't want to hit the towers. Okay, let's um, move you out a bit. Oh, you're doing great. Let's push you in. Yeah, Jade Warriors can stay in there. Let's swivel you around as well. Right, let's have all of you face that way. Okay. You on the right target? Yes. Move in 
Alright, now let's get our cavalry. Oh, okay, that looks like they're trying to run. Brilliant. Just sort of run past them. That'll really upset them. It always does. Okay, good, we got them up. And we're getting a lot of ranged fire into here. Uh, we are suffering a little bit of damage, but nothing major. Alright, so that's looking good. This is also looking good. Alright, hopefully this will bounce around in here and just be a, a real hassle. We'll see how it goes. Also, I love the spell effect. Yeah, it really does shift off in a random direction, doesn't it? You really are just sort of trying to estimate the direction it's going in. I love how it bounces off walls, though. See, spells that bounce off walls now, I think, are really interesting because there are so many uh, parts of the map that actually count as walls. It used to be, in Warhammer 2, it was only the defensive walls that were, like, the ones you could climb, but ladders on, siege towers, you know, those walls were the only things that counted as obstacles Warriors. that stuff would bounce off. Also, these peasant horsemen are doing fantastic. I don't understand how they're still fighting. Just nothing is handling them. It's great. Nothing seems able to handle them at all. Alright, come back down this way. You guys, attack that, please. And we do have you as well. Should we get you somewhere? Start moving across. Okay, can you reach that? Can you reach that tower? Because that would be great if you could. Okay, this is going to be insane. Alright, you stay where you are. <laughs> this is going to hurt so much. I did put a slight angle so I could hedge our bets that it would go away from us. You know, so worst case scenario, it would go it would go straight. But, yeah, that was probably, well... Best case scenario, it would go straight, just bounce back and forth. But, you know, it means that the worst case scenario isn't hitting us. But, uh, no, that actually went okay. That went fine. Okay, keep moving in. And I am trying to keep my ranged units near my other units at the moment, which is something I haven't really bothered with, uh, generally. Because generally you don't have to. It's something I've been getting a lot of comments about, saying that I'm not using Harmony, but it's just not that important. Because generally, if you are moving a unit, you're moving a unit because that will confer an advantage, right? That is the tactically sound thing to move a unit there. And that's still the case. It doesn't matter what faction I'm playing. You know, having my ranged units, like, in an area where they can get a lot of shots into stuff is going to make them useful. Having them constantly chasing the melee units means they're not firing. So I'm missing value on my ranged units having them chase my uh, melee units around. So, like, it's a balancing act, but generally it's a balancing act that you can benefit from by just existing. Like, just doing the thing you normally do. And occasionally you'll get those bonuses and they will help you when you need them. When you're at a position where you're sort of, you decided, oh, I'm going to hold here for a bit and defend, then all your units will catch up to each other. And at that time where you want to sit tight, you will be better at sitting tight. But uh, I've had some comments from people that are not convinced. <laughs> they are not convinced. So, you know, I'm trying to make sure everyone's following each other a lot more. But, I mean, like here, I wouldn't want these guys to be chasing. I want them to be shooting this. And that's the case very often. You know, I just don't need the bonuses. And the bonuses are a bonus. They're not the default. Not the default way of playing. So, you know, when you're playing defensively, when you need to play defensively, they are of a huge benefit because you're turtling. But when you're on the offensive, you're on the offensive because you already have the advantage, so there's really no need for them. You know, you'll do fine regardless. So, basically, don't sweat. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Because like, I have seen people concerned that it's something they need to keep on top of and that it's going to be really difficult to play them. But no, you can ignore it. Seriously. Just appreciate you'll have the bonuses where it's applicable. And uh, yeah, and if, if you're not getting those bonuses, it's because you've decided there's more value in, uh, in, in doing things like having your archers continue to fire or whatever else. You know, play like you would play anything else. You'll do fine. So you're nearly dead, which is obviously a problem. So yeah, that needs to that needs to stop. Oh, there's a barricade there. I was wondering where the hell they were going. 
So yeah, barricades, I, I think, need to be slightly retooled, because clearly they take everything I say into consideration, because, as you can see, they relit the map, and it looks fantastic. Like, seriously, it looks great. It looks really good. Um, oh, Howling Warp Gale. They've actually managed to break Majestic Warriors. No, they haven't. Not yet. Almost. They're trying, for sure. And we are running low on ammo. You know what? I think ammunition might be the thing that kills us. Lack of you know, ammunition, anyway. That could be what uh, tips the balance here, yeah, which is upsetting. Look, can you can you stop dying? Silly. Yeah, that's a problem. This I want I want dealt with. You guys doing it right though? Yeah, barricades are a bit of a problem. So what they need to do with barricades is uh, oh, that's clan rat spears. Oh, no. And towers back. Uh, what you do with barricades is make it so uh, movement orders are ignored. Just, just straight up, just ignore, ignore, move, like, ignore them in relation to movement orders. So if I tell someone to go there and they're here, just go into the barricade and attack the barricade if it's in your way. You know, that would be so much better. Really, would be so much better. Is that gone yet? Almost. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, how are we looking? Shogun gun sorcerer. I reach here. Oh, I can. Oh, good. Uh, let's go through them. I think it'll hit both units. We'll see. It's only Skaven slaves. So it's not as important. I just want to miss my own unit. Okay, so we didn't get the debuff on them, but we did on them. Zero melee attack and nine melee defense. Blinded is jolly handy. I've got to say, we hit our own units. Oh no, that's awkward. We're fine. All right, let's get you over here. We'll just capture the point and we'll be able to do it. But yeah, they really do need to ignore um, ignore barricades because you end up with such weird pathfinding taking place that uh, I really, I really dislike. All right, you want to go up there and we'll start shooting their lords. Or at least try. I don't want to get shot by that tower, really. So I'll go like here. Maybe that scaffolding will shelter us. Oh, there is a tower there, too, that is shooting at this limp. This is very annoying. Towers are annoying. Now I can see why they said we'd lose. What are you doing? I don't know what it is. Every time we kill a tower, they spin around in a circle. Oh, don't do that. That's rude. Don't they know that that's rude? Alright, shoot that now. Yeah, you guys just need to take this. So, these guys stop. Uh, luckily, though, Jade, uh, Jade Warrior Crossbowman. Oh, they don't have the best melee stats, but we're fighting like clan rats and uh, and Skaven slaves and the like. So just having the armor means they'll be pretty good in a scrap. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, Alright, you can chase them down. You guys doing great. Can you not shoot there? Oh, oh, can't shoot over there. Okay. This didn't look like that big an obstacle to shoot over, but <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, you can charge in over there. Alright, oh, you guys done great. Proud of you. Proud of you. Proud of you. Alright, start shooting them now. Alright. Let's move you three back up here. So, what is left of our enemies? Not much. Not much left. There is not much left. Really, it's just their lords. And the towers, of course. The towers will be a while, I'm sure. Ooh, that's gonna sting. Oh, yeah, that's done, alright. Okay, let's go get them. At least give it a good go. Um, we really have the one. We really only have the one spell that can help us, which is very upsetting. But we'll try and hit these guys. And hopefully, we can hit them in time to. Uh, stuck into melee with them. Um, that was a bit of a shame. I really thought they were coming this way to fight us, but no, they weren't. How strange. Yeah, we're doing okay. Oh, we do have the spirit leeches, which is very handy. Yeah, spirit leeches are incredibly useful. Alright, now let's get on top of these Skaven slaves slingers with their cavalry. They have 260 kills, which is rather impressive. And you guys have been loitering long enough. Let's just take this now, yeah? Can you guys get here? I feel like the Skaven slaves are really just like... 
really just mucking things up here. Like, we just can't seem to push through them. Yeah, mass is a bit strange in this game sometimes. I feel like fleeing units have way too much. I feel like fleeing units should confer, like, a, a penalty. Oof. I kind of knew that this would happen to, to our units here. And yeah, they're gone too. Or Jade Warriors. This will be kind of the end of this faction, though, so... Also, weird thing. Uh, when you tell ranged units to attack enemies and they run out of ammo, they kamikaze into them. It's very weird. That could do with being, um, being changed. I'd appreciate that. Come on, guys. Please stop getting stuck on all the Skaven that refuse to get out of this. Out of this, like, I don't know, rat... rat human matrix. So, I mean, we defeated the enemy. They still had a lord left. Well, a warlock engineer. So they had a they had a hero left. But I guess that didn't matter. Well done, guys. Well done. So, we have this beautiful real estate now. This beautiful, well-lit real estate. Fantastic. Eric victory. Alright. Wow, we didn't lose any units, even going down to seven. They still managed to hang in there. <laughs> the Sky Lantern just stayed in the air. A lot of kills. A lot of kills eventually, but that's mostly because um, when you defeat a garrison, it just allocates all the kills to whoever, so they get the experience for it. Which I absolutely adore that that's a thing. Because otherwise you'd miss out on a bunch of experience, and that would be very sad. But yeah, our Sky Lanterns did a lot of work, apparently. Hooray. We're going to occupy this. Clan Spittle has been revealed. But yeah, and then we killed them all. Keep up. So, uh, Snickich no. is all that's left. That's all that's left. I reckon our allies will handle it. Nope, those guys it are busy besieging Jiangxi. Maybe don't do that, guys. Maybe don't do that. And now they want to confederate even less. What is your, what is your problem? I swear before they were really eager to confederate. I'm very disappointed. Anyway, we'll get them. We'll get them, guys. We'll get them eventually. Just you wait. We'll win him over. So, we are on Yang 3. We're on... We're even further towards Yang now. I'm so confused by this. What changed that? It was a building here, right? Offspring Must be. Yang and Yang. Oh my god. Oh, get out of here. Stop it. We're on Yang 3, right? When actually, we could build one Yin building here and we could be in harmony again. I Although I have no idea what buildings we've got on the go, so that could be wrong as well. I have no idea. Uh, this would be good. Uh, effect range is quite quite short, though. Which I find really weird with yin and yang. It's only stuff really close to you um, that, that you get these sort of debuffs or buffs for. You know, the lore attributes. They aren't map-wide like they are with all the other lore attributes. So it's sort of weird. But lowering armor for stuff nearby is pretty handy. It befits my so I'll take it. Station. I'll take it. Uh, Sui Lu can stay there. Uh, Chan can stay oh. there. Yao Yin... Doesn't need to stay there. No, she needs to get killing. So we're going to take on a uh, hard. Hello, hard. Hello. Uh, do we fight this? I mean, it's a lot of very interesting units to fight. So I think we have to. I'm pretty sure you guys would be very disappointed if I didn't fight a Saigor Helpit Abomination Crypt Horror Chaos Spawn stack. Here we go. Here we go, guys. This is the map. This is the one. Just a big arena. It's just so corny. But, you know, like corn. Like corn. Not... Like... Corny. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, you go over there, and... You lot need to line up. Into fun places where you can blast things. Uh, it really does just lend itself brilliantly to the sort of armies that we have. Just a bunch of stairs that you can just layer on rows of guns. It's really cool. It's good fun. It makes it makes me wish we had more guns. But uh, I suppose we do have quite a few guns. Yeah, with the crane guns as well. They can be useful for shooting... I was going to say for the Saigor, but I think the Saigor's too far away, sadly. I'm a little concerned, actually, about the Saigor, because we don't really have anything that can chase them down. I guess I'll have to throw... Uh, a dragon at them. Why Why all you peasants squished against this wall? You really don't want to be here, do you? And the jade crossbowmen don't either. Nope, none of them do. Just none of them do. 
I can't say I blame them, but I also can't say I'm I'm not disappointed. That'll do. So you're a bit injured, which is obviously no fun, but that's okay. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. That'll do. So, uh, let's heal you. You will see your families again. This and the storm dragon swears to you. I guess we need to move forward a bit and coax them in. The storm dragon. Okay, we've got time to do things now. So, uh, you should probably get into the line. Don't know why you're back there. Just lazy. Sheer laziness. Doesn't want to come and fight. Doesn't want to join the battle. Just wants to watch. Oh, this is an arena, but uh, are these are these towers where you can watch from, or are these purely decorative? It's really hard to say. I'm not quite sure what goes on in here. Really not sure what goes on in here. I'm not sure I want to. I have a feeling it would be a bit distressing to find out what they do in there. Well, it looks like they're happy to get blown up. Yeah, I don't seem to mind. You are in the realm of corn, guys. You're supposed to be impressing him. You're supposed to be impressing corn. We're not here to impress corn, also. Uh, there's a pile of um, corpse detritus. Yeah, we're not here to impress corn. These guys are here to impress corn, I'm pretty sure. Or they just got dragged in here to be playthings. That's also very likely. Uh, that Saigor, I think, is out gunning us, which is no good. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to heal you. We can turn into a dragon. Oh, they're coming for us now. That's perfect. Yeah, so we should be able to attack this Saigor, no problem. Actually, is he out gunning us? No, this guy wasn't getting shot at. Oh, I don't know why they were so injured, but they are already that injured. I thought they'd taken damage to the Saigor, but no, the Saigor hadn't thrown a rock. Now he has. Now he has. What's he aiming for? He's aiming for the balloon. Ooh, wow. That is awesome. You know, I'm not even mad. I love Saigors. Saigors are cool. The Saigors, their one eye sees um, the winds of magic. So, you know, think of if you think of the winds of magic as like a different color spectrum, it's kind of like that. Yeah, really cool. So, wizards shine real bright to them. Stick out like a sore thumb. A sore thumb that's on fire. So, crane gunners, we haven't really loaded these guys yet. The crane gunners, specialist missile infantry, only the hardiest of souls can survive at the elegant volleys of Nan Gao's devastatingly precise artillery. How cool are they? And obviously has a little dragon face on the end. Anything that, you know, blurts out fire has to have a dragon face, or um, it's off-brand. So, yeah, things are going well. Help it, abomination. The very image of madness and ruin, the ultimate rat made menace unleashed. And very quickly put back in his cage. Yeah, you better run. The Saigor, plagued by visions, Saigors are cursed to see the winds of chaos. Naturally, this makes them mad and extremely dangerous. Sure does. Oh, how are you guys getting on? You having fun? Shot a bunch of rat ogres. Yeah, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? You know what? Let's uh, lower their melee attack. And then strike them with lightning. Yeah, I think I might turn off the um, ability slowdown thing. If I remember. I will probably not remember, but I think I'll I think I'll turn that off at some point. I might turn it off now. Let's turn it off now. Uh do, do, do. There we go. Good. Oh also this patch seems to be better about um, guard mode remaining off now, by the way. Just to let you know. It does seem to be working better now. And there's hard. What a bad day. So how did we do over there? We did pretty well. Use all of the items. Brilliant. 98 melee defense. That would have been useful while you were being attacked, but, you know, I can't knock it. <laughs> Wait, hang on. You're shattered. What are you doing still attacking, silly? That's right, just shove the Saigor along. Just push him along. Excellent. Alright, so I adore that. Blood Fountain. Brilliant. 
Beautiful. Um, so, so there's a similar fountain like this that dispenses mustard. Um, in one of the other arenas. It's pretty good. So, let's move on. Decisive victory. Alright, so. Uh, let's venerate. As is tradition. That, and I feel like we have a lot of venerating to be doing while we're uh, in the realms of chaos. You know, it's always good. It's always good. Although it's, it's a weird one actually, because we're venerating, but we're we're. It's not worship, is it? It's because it's not a god, right? The celestial dragon emperor. He makes it very clear that he's not a god, and to stop being silly. Uh, but it's interesting because just the belief that he's powerful in some regard, would deify him. It almost doesn't matter. Just the people assuming he is that powerful would amplify his power. Because, I mean, like, Sigma wasn't a god until people, like, worshipped him as one, right? So, just, I think people just assuming that the, the Celestial Dragon Emperor is, you know, at, a le at the level of a god, I think would actually, um, you know, potentially, potentially infer the same level of sort of additional power to him, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe magic is nitpicky. Maybe magic is nitpicky, you know? So anyway, water snake breeder. The deadly water snakes are bred for their size, speed, and poisonous venom. They can fell a giant in an instant. Now we did it. We did it, guys. We did it. We have enough bloodshed. We can do the survival battle. Which I'm obviously going to do next episode. It will be the entire episode. So, you know, there is that. Uh, win the following battle. You have momentarily earned the Blood God's respect and may approach the Brass Citadel to face his favoured demon prince. But a battle awaits you there, for this is Korn's palace. Survive against waves of his thirstiest demons and slay the gatekeeper. Only then can its soul be captured. Excellent. So yeah, the entire next episode will be that. But first, I want to get this item. I'm not going to go all the way over there, because that's too far away. Um, I want to get this done. So. Uh, hello, Storm Dragon. What should we get you? This will help out all of the melee units. This helps out all of the ranged units. Let's do the one for all of the ranged units. I like that one. Fast hands. When the raging of battle begins, swift hands and swift defeat are the keys to surviving at range. The Very cool. Defense requires and can we get... We can't get the War Compass yet. We still can't get the War Compass. Two more levels, guys. Two more levels. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Ranged Discipline. Uh, because I want to make sure that when we do get the War Compass, he doesn't get killed at range. Even though not that important where we currently are, you know, in hell. Uh, you know, I'm almost tempted, actually, to do some more battles while we're here. Because if I can get him to level 20 before we do the quest battle, it means I don't have to worry about him dying. Because he can die. You know, he can die in the quest battle. And he's pretty, pretty vulnerable where he is. Uh, although I think I can actually... You can, you can retreat people in hell. <laughs> you can retreat people in um, survival battles. You can sort of teleport them out of the fight. So I guess we can, we can just teleport him away if he gets too hurt. Uh, there is that. Oh, here we go. Experience gain. That'll help. Cool. All right. All right. So, uh, let's have a quick look. What else is going on? You're suffering horrible attrition, which I'm not happy about. Kislev, you need to. Oh, oh, I see. They're putting the kiss into Kislev. That's what they're doing. There's a lot of kissing going on here. It's very naughty. Right. Let's get. Yeah, okay, I think we're I think we're all organized. Okay, so I think next uh, next episode, right? So I'm gonna hit end turn at some point, and then we'll be able to grab that sword, and then we can do the survival battle. It'll be pretty great. It'll be pretty good. Okay, good. I'm gonna go say hi to Meow Yin to end the episode. We back over here in hell. So it's kind of a shame you can't have her in dragon form on the campaign map. I think it'd be quite cool. You know, you could do it as a mount choice. You know, choose dragon or, or person as, like, their mount option and then swap between. I think that would genuinely work as a, as a mechanic. I bet someone could mod that. Also, I just realized... We're, we'll probably be fighting Eclixus Voidspawn, which is what the, the Demon Prince is called today. That's fun. 
So, yeah, Eglixus. Eglixus. What a weird name. Eglixus Voidspawn. We're probably going to end up fighting him next uh, next episode before we do the survival okay. battle. So it's going to be a long episode. So stay tuned for that. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. Affiliate links in the description. And uh, jump up and down on one foot. Bye.